Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing visa interviews at U.S. embassies. And we've been dealing with the government responses to the COVID pandemic since March of 2020. And there have been a number of ramifications associated with this. We've done a number of videos on this channel. Most notably, there's a significant backlog in the overall immigration system. But one question that has come up from clients and friends and things is they've asked, you know, do you think at some point they'll end face-to-face -face immigration interviews and specifically visa interviews in favor of some Zoom format? Uh, presently, I don't think that's the, probably going to be the case, at least instantly in, in the relatively for near-term foreseeable future. But based on a recent article from Foreign Policy, that's foreignpolicy.com. The article is quite interesting. It's titled, The State Department's Visa Issuing Authority is in Crisis. And quoting directly from that article, go ahead and throw that on screen. Even during the pandemic, consular affairs has been holding in-person interviews despite little evidence that they're better than remote ones. Requiring U.S. officials abroad to interview almost every individual who wants to travel long-term to the United States is labor-intensive, costly, and hard to justify in the digital age. It's also not in line with the country's competitors for international travel, Australia, Canada, and most of Europe, which do not rely on face-to-face -face interviews for visas. So that to me was pretty interesting in that the, it was an interesting insight, and Foreign Policy Magazine is read by folks that operate in the realm of foreign policy. It's, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know, in the, it's not policy wonk kind of, a, a kind of policy wonk publication, but I definitely think it's read by folks that are in the apparatus. And it is interesting, you know, yeah, I think there are arguments in favor of non-in-person uh, interviews, and, you know, especially from an efficiency standpoint, you can cite health concerns uh, under the current circumstances. I could see that being cited. Will this come to pass anytime soon? I doubt it. Uh, changes like this usually do not happen overnight. They take quite a bit of time. Now, under this administration, yeah, I think it's definitely possible because... This is the kind of program I think this administration would probably find to be something that would be beneficial. So we've got a lot of time left with this administration, and during that time, it is possible we could see major changes like the end or the truncation, if you will. I, I Frankly, I could see a kind of a mixed situation where interviews for things like the immigrant or dual intent visas like the K-1 fiancé visa or the CR-1 or IR-1 immigrant spouse visa or the K-3 visa require in-person interviews. They say, look, you're, you're essentially immigrating to the United States. We want to see you in person. But I could definitely see tourist visas possibly moving over to a non-in-person interview process. And with the current backlog associated with tourist visas, at least through the U.S. Embassy in Bangkok right now, I, I could see a situation where they do that, if for no other reason than to be able to process out the backlog as quickly and efficiently as they can.